What's going on guys, Justin Fuller here, and today I'm at North Star Ford here in Duluth, Minnesota, and they're part of the Evergreen Group, and we are gonna start helping them track their keys and their car, so I'm heading out to a car right now to set them up, but let's hop on in and show you exactly how we do it. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a network at your dealership. And it's consist of a couple things. So if you can see behind me on this pole right back over there, that's an exterior gateway. It's solar powered, so it'll hold about two months worth of charge. And we're gonna put those on light poles around the dealership. Now inside of the building, we're gonna use what's called an interior gateway, about the size of half a deck of cards. And that's gonna allow you to see those keys and cars as they're inside the building versus outside the building. Once you have those set up, then we can start talking about how to track the keys and the cars using those different products that we'll go over. All right, guys, so I'm sitting inside this Jeep uh, Cherokee and I wanna go over the two pieces of tech that we use as far as tracking the keys and tracking the cars and kind of show you how they work and what they look like. So for the keys, first off, I wanna show you what the tag is and that's gonna be this tag specifically right here. So you can see it, it's on my keys right now. So whether your keys are living on a pegboard, whether they're living in a key machine, maybe you use the key boxes on the side of the windows, this application is gonna work with all of those items as far as tracking down that key. And this is gonna specifically tie to this stock number, this VIN, this specific vehicle. Now, that's where we're using to track the keys as they're outside, inside, wherever they may be, on the pegboard, in the key machine, in the key box, anywhere they may go, or even in a salesperson's pocket, if you got that guy who holds on the three or four keys, uh, or tends to hide him in his desk because he has so many coming by and a couple hours to look at that car, right? We can all think of the guy and probably name him. Now, related to tracking the cars, we're gonna use these tags, right? So a little bit different, a little bit bigger, as far as that goes. And what you're gonna do with this is simply put it on the rear of your mirror and let it hang. It'll track, it's nice, it's red, it stands out, so when you deliver that car, you'll remember to take this off, and these are reusable, guys. So I can reuse this tag on the very next car that comes in. Heck, I could pull this off the car I'm selling and immediately put this into the trade, same thing. I could do this as well, pull this off of my keys that I'm selling, put it on the trade, and now we're tracking that trade from the minute that we took it in. Now, we should probably talk about how do I connect these up to stock numbers of VIN so I know how to track that specific vehicle. So we're gonna hop into the app next and go over that. All right, guys, so here we are. We're back in the studio, and I want to go over a couple things related to the app. And what I'm doing is I'm just throwing my phone up there on the screen. So this is an Apple phone. It'll work on Apple or Android. I have both, and I use them regularly, so just to give you a heads up on that part, right? Now, there's the two important things I want to talk about is, one, how do I connect up a key tag and a car tag to a specific stock number VIN? And then, two, how do I just run a search? So for all my cell staff, PDI guys, BDC team, anybody who needs to just quickly know if a key and a car is on the lot and where it is, how can I help these folks out, right? Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is how to connect up a key tag and a car tag uh, to a specific stock number VIN. Now, on the back of the key tag, right, it's gonna have a QR code and some numbers. And the same thing on the back of the car tag, right? So you're gonna have that as well. So I wanna show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this true tag management button, the second one down. So I'm gonna select that. Now, from here, there's a couple different things you can do, right? So if this is a car that doesn't live in my inventory feed yet, I could type in what the stock number is going to be or the VIN is going to be. So perfect example, I just, I'm selling a, a brand new car. I pull this off the new car. I want to immediately put these on the trade so that now we're tracking the keys to the trade and the, the trade itself as it floats around the lot, goes to recon, whatever it may need to do, right? So you can absolutely do that. I could type in a stock number, type in a VIN here, uh, and, and when it lands in the feed, they'll merge up. Now, if this is a car that already lives in our feed, so let's say it's something that we've had um, or, or it's a new car that just came in or something we bought at auction or whatever it may be, let's go over how we would do that. So I'm gonna use this 2004 Buick LeSabre up here for an example. So it's very simple. You can see that there's a car button and you can see that there's a key button, right? So if I select the car button, all I'm gonna have to do is come in here and say, yeah, I wanna tag the car. And then from there, I can either type in the numbers on the back of that, that tag, or if I press the QR reader, which is over there in that search bar, uh, I can press that button and then just scan my tag, right? So boom, and then you know, and then hit attach, right? So I'm not gonna do that since this is, this is a live dealership that I'm showing, uh, but I want you to understand how this works. Hit done, we're all done there, right? Same thing for the key, hit the tag key button. Uh, I'm gonna use the QR code reader again, and then all I have to do is hold that code down there, let it read it, pick it up, and then have it, you know, 
you know, tag to this specific vehicle, right? So very easy to do. Only takes, what, 10 seconds uh, from the minute that I search it. Um, so if this is something a salesperson doing, they could quickly do this as they're going through the books and the keys or if they're waiting after you've gone into finance, they could they could tag that trade. Or if it's a car that just came in and you have a guy doing them as they come off the truck, you know, if it's a lot porter or whoever that's, you know, kind of getting, whether they be new cars, cars you bought at auction, whatever it may be, uh, they can obviously do this out on the lot, right? So very easy to do, right? So that's how you connect a key and a, and a car tag up to a specific stock number VIN. Now, while I'm here, I will show you uh, something cool that you could do. Let's say I wanted to type in, right? And it wasn't that, uh, you know, it was the trade or for this example, I'm going to say, what if I wanted to do a temp tag or I wanted to, you know, tag a jump box, uh, something that grows legs and seems to walk off. You can absolutely do that, right? So if I came in here, I could, you know, be like, all right, well, let me make it, uh, you know, Justin's tag right? And I'm going to type in whatever I want this to be, and then I'm going to search it. And it's going to say, hey, we don't see this currently in your inventory. Would you like to add it? And at that point, I could say, yeah, let's add it, right? So I'm going to say that's the stock number. So now I've added, uh, and I'm going to add it to pre-owned just for the sake of this. Uh, now I've added a manual entry. So if this was my temp tag, then what I could do, same thing. I could take a key tag uh, that I have like here and zip tie it to that temp tag, right? Or that jump box or whatever it may be. And the exact same process. Hit the key tag button, come down here, you know, scan the QR code, boom, and then connect it up to that temp tag. So now every time I search out Justin's tag, it's going to pull it up and I'll be able to visibly see on the map where that tag is. So if you've got sell staff that end up, you know, showing eight, nine, ten of cars a day or whatever it may be, and they were like, man, my temp tag was on one of those cars, but I don't know which one. Well, instead of them, you know, p potentially having this loss forever, uh, then you, you might have to report it to the police or whatever may go on, depending on what kind of tag you have. Why not just be able to search it out and see it and go, oh, it's out on the lot. Okay, cool. Let me go find it real quick, right? How much time would that save, right? Instead of wandering around or trying to find somebody else to borrow their tag, right? A million applications, jump boxes, golf carts, golf cart keys, iPads. If you use them for like finance and they float around in the showroom, whatever it may be, I'm sure you can think of something at your dealership, right? So that's how you add in a manual entry. And even if it's something that's not normally, uh, you know, key or car. All right, so I'm going to jump back out of this and go back to the home screen here. And I want to show you how to just search a key in a car, right? So that very first button right here. So somebody walks in the front door and says, hey, I'm here to see a car. This is the stock number of VIN. Sometimes they know it, sometimes they don't. If they do, great. I could type in that stock number, type in that VIN, and go from there. Maybe they just know a year-making model, right? From here, I could scroll through here and find, and it's only going to show you what's available in your inventory, right? So as I come across here, it'll do that. Uh, and then this free section, if you just know a partial or you have some sort of idea for what they're looking for, you can do that as well, right? So once you run that search, if it was your making model, it's going to show you all the available options. So on here, let's do this for a second. If I go to Buick uh, and then I go to Enclave because I know there's more than one, I'm going to do all of them, right? Now I know that I have two on the lot. So I can say, hey, well, I've got this one and I've got one other one. Uh, so just depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for that 2011, it's around 11 grand or that 2017, right? And they may say, if you got three or four, they may go, oh, well, I didn't even know that about that one. Could we look at that one also? Great. Now I can, I, I know where the keys are at. I know where the car is and it makes it so easy. So let's pretend it was this 2011 for the sake of used cars since not many people have brand new cars right now, right? So I click on it and then immediately pulls up and it's going to show me two things. One, where the key's tagged at and, and, and what, where the car is at. So currently I'm seeing where the car is at and I can zoom in and out. So this way I can see exactly where that car is at on their lot in comparison to their building, right? So this makes it very easy. Uh, you know, if it's super busy, uh, if it's super hot, if the weather's poor to know exactly where that's at. So I can, or if I'm out on the lot with the customer, we're looking at a different car and they're like, do you have anything else? I could run that search, see this and go, yeah, it's right over here. Let's walk over to it, right? If I hit that next button, it's going to show me where the key is at. And not only is it showing me where the key is at, that it's in the building, but look up here. It says it's in level one cells north, right? So if it's on a pegboard, if it's in a key machine, it'll tell you where it's at. We can set up our gateways, which we showed earlier at the, uh, this is the interior gateway, to, to hone in to a very small area. So if it's in a key machine, you'll know it's in the key machine, right? If, if you want to set these up in different offices, you'd know it's, oh, it's in Jake, Jacob's finance office, or it's in a, you know, in, in the bullpen where all the sales staff is, right? Now, if I get over there and it's not in the, the dedicated area that we're keeping the keys, whether it be a pegboard, key machine, whatever it is, so I could get in here nice and close and get to that area. From there, you'll see up here there says find a tag, right? This little button right up here with a radar on it. Well, I can click on that tag once I'm in the area, and it's going to pull this up. Now, you're going to see a white ball appear in the middle if I was at this dealership, right? So I'm back here in Austin, Texas now. Um, and as I get closer, that ball will move down to where it says immediate, or as I get further away, it'll move into the red. So what's cool about this is once I get close enough to that key, 
You know, if, if we see that the key's outside at the end of the night or something's going on, we go, oh, somebody must have dropped it. Well, then we can get out there, and then once we do this, we can kind of go around, or if we think it's in the car, I could just set my phone on the, the glass and hit that button, and if it starts freaking out, I know, all right, key's in the car. Now we just got to find it, right? It's in the seat or under it. Pretty pretty easy to figure out, or in a cup holder if they set it down. So that's how you run a search on a car, right? So easy enough to do. We'll do it one more time. Just click on find a key, find a car. Uh, we'll go down to this uh, 2018 Buick Envision, right? So we'll, we'll click on that one this time. And, and same thing, shows me exactly where the car's at. I can zoom in and out and see that. Uh, and then perfect example here, it says right now that the key is over in the parking area, right? So chances are a sales guy probably has this, right? Uh, but I could see that it's sitting out there. Or if somebody had dropped this key, it fell out of their pocket while they're walking out of a building or something like that, how easy and nice would it be to go, oh, it's out on the lot. Let's just go grab it right? Now, another really cool thing that you can do that you may not know, uh, and that's why I'm here to tell you, is that let's say a, a key goes home with one of your sell staff. It happens. Happens all the time. Happens at every dealership, I promise you. Well, it, it just so happens that your phone will work as one of those interior gateways that we talked about earlier. So, if I sent out a text to everybody who was working uh, that evening, if a key went missing, we were looking for it, or I could just send it out to my whole staff and go, hey, everybody do me a favor and turn on your, you know, turn it on or open up your TrueSpot app. Now, once everybody opens it up, if there is a key that has gone home with someone, this will now ping that key, that tag, right, using their phone to detect it, and it'll pop up on the map so we'd know, oh, okay, perfect. We know that the key isn't 100% lost. It just went home with someone. So it's really cool to know that not only will this cover you on the lot, but if a key happened to go home with one of your cell staff, your phone will act as one of those gateways that we set up in that network that we set up at your dealership. So it's just a cool feature that to know that you have in your back pocket in case a key ends up leaving it and we're not sure and we got somebody who wants to buy it. And before we start recutting keys, we want to make sure we can save our money, right? So this is how you run a search uh, for a key in a car, how you uh, tag the keys in the cars, and then anything else you want to do like a jump box, anything else. Now you're going to see a couple other buttons on the, on the screen here. Dashboard will just pull up some general metrics that you can see. So last sightings, which we'll go over here when we jump uh, across over to the desk, uh, dashboard. Uh, but I can see visually how many cars haven't been seen in the last 4 to 24 hours or 24 to 72 hours. So how nice would it be able to pull this up and see, okay, we have a car that we haven't seen in the last 24 hours on the lot. I can click on it, pull up that, and, and see what that stock number that VIN is and go, what's going on with this? Do we have loaner paperwork? Did we send it out to a vendor? What's going on? Is there a note under that specific profile? Because when I'm in here, you know, if I go to a specific car, I can drop in notes. There's different things that we can do related to that, right? So I could go into this notes section and add a note in here. So just be aware that you can absolutely do that other than just seeing those locations. And you'll be able to see this on the desktop dashboard as well, right? So that's the dashboard and, and some of the general metrics. You're going to get more when we hop over to that dashboard. Now, recon, in, in case you weren't aware, we do offer a recon tool. Uh, and I'll touch on that a little bit more. But once you're tracking your cars, guys, how much easier would it be just to track them through your recon process? If I put this on the minute a car comes off a truck... And then from there, the car goes to PDI. Then it goes to, you know, or, or it goes into a service bay, gets some tickets written up. Let's say it doesn't have much, right? So then it's going to go to, uh, you know, just, hey, we just need to do an oil change, tire rotation, uh, you know, clean and fill photographs and throw that, that sucker out on the lot. Well, how nice would it be to know that if we geofence off your dealership, if you're using a recon tool, it'll check it into each step automatically. Meaning, your guys don't even have to worry about it. your service tech. Minute that car enters this bay, it turns on the timer because this has entered that area. And when it leaves, it turns the timer off. So you'll know exactly how much time it spends in each step and exactly how much time each car takes in your overall process, right? This is a fantastic tool. And since new cars are kind of on the back burner right now, used cars are a big deal. And when it comes to that, you're, you want to turn and burn, you want to move inventory. Well, if you're already tracking your cars, you could use our recon tool and, and start to really move that inventory, right? So just something to consider uh, if you're using that tool or want to use a tool. It is available to you. Uh, I can always go over that in a demo, right? Now, these next two buttons are kind of placeholders for now. It's just some coming to, you know coming soon stuff uh, and, and vehicle location. So this is going to give you uh, you, you know a, a general to where are all my cars living right now, right? So you could see uh, you know if I have you know 10 cars in service, I might click on this and go, well, what are these 10 cars? Why are they there? What's up with this car? What's going on with it, right? Uh, and if you're on the dashboard, uh, you can, you can uh, the desktop dashboard, you could export this list and shoot it over somebody be like, hey, are you done with these cars? Can we get them back? I want to make sure that they're out in the retail area, right? So just kind of nice to know that you can quickly pull that up. So that's the app. Uh, so now that we've looked at the app, let's jump over to the desktop dashboard so that I can show you additionally other stuff you can use in case you're a sales manager for opening and closing duties. What if I told you you could pull up and see every single key on the lot all at once, right? So at the end of the night, you could check it and go, oh, there's a key still sitting out there. Somebody go grab that. 
Well, I, I can show you how to do some different things for your sales managers, and then of course for your inventory managers as far as keeping the lot tight, being able to search out a group of cars to make sure they're all in one spot. Uh, so if you wanna keep the nice tight lines of, hey, here's all my uh, you know, my Ford F-150s, or here's all my, you know, whatever the car may be, right? You can fill in the blanket uh, at your dealership. So let's hop over and we'll check that out. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard, and I wanna walk you through a couple things, because not only can you run those general searches for a key in a car, and not only can you add in uh, those tags, but you can do some additional things, right? So I teased you a little bit showing you and talking about how sales managers could use this at opening and closing duties, and then of course, how your inventory manager can use this as well. So on the desktop dashboard, right? The first thing I wanna show you is on the map here. So earlier we talked about setting up that network. So this is kind of what it looks like, right? We, we set up this network around the entire dealership, and then we geofence off different areas. So this way you can see how many cars on them. So right now I'm getting the car count. I can flip it over to pins over here and see a whole bunch of pins of where cars are as well. And I'll show you how to use that in just a second, right? So this kind of relates to that desktop dashboard. Uh, so you're going to get some more info and some more, um, you know, screens up top here that we'll go over. Now on the left side over here, I can run my searches. So same thing, I can search out a stock number, search out a VIN. Uh, I can search by year, make, and model. Uh, so the exact same searches you could do in the app. However, here, maybe I want to run a search, right, for several of a car, right? So I can come down here and go, all right, well, let me, uh, let me run through here and let me search out all my F-150s, right? Because uh, maybe we're running some special on them or, or, you know, a particular trim or whatever it may be, right? So maybe I click into here and go, okay, cool. So that's that's all those cars. Let's see where they're at. Okay, so I've got three over here, one over here, one over here. Right, well, if I'm running a specific incentive on that, how nice is it to be able to see all those at once, have a list right here, and then tell my, uh, you know, be like, all right, well, we need to grab this one and this one because I want them all right next to each other, right? So I can click on this car and it's going to give me exactly what that stock number is. I could tell my lot porter, hey, go grab this car, move it over there. I want to get them all stacked up together. Right, so this way, when I'm going through these, you know what I mean. I can grab each one, tell them to go. Hey, go find this one as well. Uh, I need you to grab that stock number because we're gonna move them all together. I want to put hang tags in them. I'm running some sort of special. Uh, I got you know higher grosses. I got I got money coming back on them. I want to put these at the front door, maybe. Right. So immediately, different ways an inventory manager or a sales manager could use this tool uh, as far as those searches. Right. So let me clear out all those searches that I just ran. Right. So we got a lot going on on the screen right now. Right. Okay, so that's just one of the ways that you can use this tool, right? And, and that's using the search bar over here. Now, let's talk about some other things. But before we get there, I want to show you up top here. Now, so we are going to integrate with your inventory feed. And the reason I mention that is because up top, you can see right here, tagged pre-owned keys. Not only can I see how many are tagged, I can see how many total I have. And then I can click on this 44 remaining and get a list right here. So I have a list of, of vehicles that I know haven't been tagged yet. How am I collecting that list? Because we're connecting into your inventory feed, right? Now I can turn this map off, come over here, and I've got an export button. I could export this list and then send it over to somebody and go, hey, what's going on with these cars? You know, did they just arrive, whatever, you know me. So I can immediately start managing this system uh, and a lot of different things here, right? So in the, in the same way that I'm talking about exporting lists, you know, I may come down here and let me clear out all these searches and go, all right, well, let me look at my service slot, you know. Okay, service, I got one car over here. What's going on with this car, right? Right? Maybe I turn this list off. Let's say it was seven cars. I can export this list, shoot it over to my service director and go, hey, are you done with these cars yet? Just want to update on them. I want to get these out so we can sell them, right? A lot of different ways I can start to apply this quickly, uh, you know, from a higher level, right? Not just your PD guys, guys, your sales guys, your lot porters, the general people that are just looking for keys and cars. Or maybe, you know, depending on who it is, this could be a BDC person using this, right? They could use the app or this because if somebody calls in and says, hey, do you have this car and you share a used car feed, how nice is it to be able to run a search on a car, click on it and go, okay, well, Where's this car at? Okay, this is the car you were talking about. It was this price, this mileage. Let me scroll down here. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that the car is here. Uh, so the car is in the southeast side of the dealership right now, uh, and the key's in the sales tower. Yeah, you want me to go grab that? Let me set you up a time to come by. I'll get you set up with a sales staff member. Think about that. How much better did I just make my entire BDC team who's picking up a phone and, and they don't have to play the game of, well, it's probably here. Why don't you come on by? We'll set up time. And then they show up to find out the car isn't there. It's actually a different lot or, you know, all, all, all the weird stuff that can happen from there, right? So efficiency. This is a time saver, right? So as we jump back across the top here, I talked about pre-owned keys. You can do the same thing with new. Now I can do it with inventory, right? So my pre-owned inventory, I have it broken out and my new. So I can see that new, 29 of the 44 cars have been tagged, 15 haven't, right? So gives me a lot of insight into how we're doing as far as keeping me up with the tagging uh, and just what I got inventory wise, right? Now, photo status, really cool feature. Let's say your dealership pays a guy to come by and uh, and shoot photos. Well, how nice would it be to set him up with just a, uh, you know, on the app, 
where all he needs to see is his 203 cars, or excuse me, not the 203 remaining right there, but the 59 remaining cars that he needs to take photos of. I can set up a profile, right? I can come into the back office, go to a user, uh, and select that person and go, all right, Matthew's my photo guy, right? And, and, and it's going to give you a warning here because when you click on this, all it's going to show him is just that section because if it's a third-party guy, let's be honest, he doesn't need to have all this info, right? I may not want him to have that info. He just needs to know, hey, man, I got 59 cars. Here's a list of them. These are the ones that you need to go take photos of. And from there, right, he can click into the car uh, using his app, right? And it's going to show him exactly where the car is at, exactly where the key is at, and he can just go down this list, right? So obviously some of these you know, cars haven't been tagged yet, so that's why you'll notice they haven't pulled up. But if they have, you'll see the icon. So let me turn this off real quick, and I'll kind of show you. Um, you know, if I'm looking at cars and keys, uh, click into a section here. Uh, when you see it, right, okay, they've been tagged. Right, so obviously some of these new ones, they just haven't tagged them yet. So photo status, fantastic feature to help out uh, your photo booth guy to be more efficient to get through cars quicker. Because if we're talking about used cars, especially right now, I want to get pictures of them as as quick as I can. Because if I see a car on on a, on, a, on a website, it doesn't have pictures. I'm not coming to see that car. Everybody knows that. Yeah? The, the chances of you seeing a car go up, I think it's by like threefold if you've got more than five pictures of it. I think if you have like 15, it goes up even more. Right, so. Manual entries next door. This is what we talked about earlier, right? So this is where um, anything that isn't connected to a stock number or VIN. So it may be things like, you know, my jump boxes. Uh, it may be things, yeah, right. See, so jump box right here, air tank. Uh, you know, if they're if they're tracking that, uh, it could be my um, my temp tag if I need to do that, right? So this would be any of those items that live outside the norm um, as far as a key tag or car tag that's connected to a stock number of VIN, right? So you have all these different tags over here. Now, location we talked about on the app, it'll just show you how many cars are in what areas. I'm going to keep moving across this because I have a lot up here. Now, really cool feature that you won't see on the app, days in inventory. Let's talk about this for a second. Not only can I see, like, okay, I, I want to see what's, you know, 60 to 89 days old. I click on this, same thing. It creates me a list, right? And then I could drop in pins and see where these are at. So if I have old age units and I'm going, man, why aren't we selling these? You know, some of these are cars that we regularly sell. Well, where are they sitting on the lot, right? Are they sitting way over here in this spillover lot? Uh, they're not by the front door, so people aren't seeing them. Well, why don't we grab some of these cars and move them all to one area, Right? Let me put them right up front with hang tags in them and, and mark these as cells. Right? Like these are cars we want to get actively get rid of. Uh, right? So I could get them all nice and tight, move them somewhere, or I just want to know where they're at. Right? If they're not getting seen, there may be a reason why. So days in inventory, a fantastic feature for your sales staff, uh, whether it be sales managers, and then of course your inventory manager. Right? Now moving across location of keys, same thing like location of inventory. Don't think we need to talk about that too much. Just showing you where everything lives. Last sightings. This is a cool cool feature, right? So I can come up here and go, okay, I want to know the cars that we haven't seen in the last 24 or 72 hours. For the sake of this, they don't have any in, in 24 hours, but they do have one car that hasn't been seen in the last 72 hours, right? So if I come in in the morning and I'm checking this list, I could click into this and go, well, what's going on with this car? Is it back? Do we know where it's at now? Okay, the car is back. If it wasn't back though, how nice would it be able to come over to activities and look in the notes and go, all right, well, did somebody leave a note? And if not, it'll show me a geo departure date that it was timestamped and left at that exact time. Now, if there's a note in here or I have loaner paperwork for it or whatever it may be, no big deal. We, we can account for that car. But if not, it's nice to know that I can pull this up and at any given time, I can come through here and go, all right, well, you know, show me inventory that hasn't been seen. Now, if you don't want to go through here and pull this up each morning, no big deal. I can set it up and make it even easier for you. Same thing. I'll come into my user accounts here in the back. I'll select a person, and then I'll come down to missing vehicle alerts. I'll check that box. Now, if I check that box for that staff member, each morning they are going to get an email with a list of cars that haven't been seen in the last 24 hours or 72 hours or whatever stipulation you set up with us, right? So we're going to customize that to your store. So that way... You know, if, if, if I want to know ahead of time, 7 a.m., I'm getting an email. I can immediately walk in, sit down at the desk, load up my computer, start checking my email, and go, okay, well, let me grab the loaner book or whatever, however you keep your loaner paperwork, and look through it and go, okay, we didn't loan it out. All right, did it go over to the shop? Do we have a note on this car? Did somebody leave a note uh, from the night before the closing manager saying, hey, this car we had to send over to such and such, uh, it's off campus, or we loaned it out uh, to somebody or a sales staff member, you know, whoever you may have loaned it out to, right? you can quickly put things together, right? And if not, and it was taken, boom, I come back to that car. I look up when the timestamp, when it left the lot, I pull up my cameras, I see, you know, wh what happened, right? So if it's potential theft, hey, well, maybe I need to address that. While we're on theft, I'll bring it up that, you know, while you have the regular red tags, know that I have motion sensing tags that you can upgrade to as well. Costs a little bit more, but know that you have them available. Maybe you want to add them in all your cars. Maybe you just want them in a handful. You got Ford Raptors on the lot? Might want to throw one of these in case somebody messes with a night. Maybe they're trying to steal wheels off the car. Maybe they're trying to steal a Cadillac converter, right? 
Um, or maybe you block your entrances with cars. Well, what if you had a handful of these and you put them in all the cars that you blocked the entrances? So if somebody did want to steal something and they started to pull that car out of the way, it immediately motion senses, sets off the alert, sends you a message. You can pull up the cameras and then alert security or the police, right? So know that you have some workarounds for theft too that I can help you out with. So, last sightings, fantastic uh, tool to help you account for assets, make sure there isn't potential theft, anything of that nature. Now, I teased it earlier, and I want to talk about it specifically. Um, so, let's say it's, uh, we already talked kind of what you could do at the at the, uh, the beginning of a morning, as far as last sightings, getting an email sent to you with all the list of cars you haven't seen. But let's talk about closing duties, right? So, what I want to do is I want to flip my assets right here in the middle of the screen. I'm going to flip this to keys, Right, and, and, and I'm gonna scroll back in here, right? So I, I see that how many keys I have for everywhere. Now, if I turn on the pins, if this is the end of the night, realistically, all of my keys should be living inside of this building somewhere, right? In a key machine or wherever I'm keeping them. If I see a key like this, where it's outside on the used lot, at the end of the night, if I know I don't have any cell staff out there, that means that it either got left in a car or it got dropped out on the lot. How powerful is it to be able to do this at the end of the night, pull this up and go, I can make sure every single key made it back in the building. I just prevented lost keys at the entire dealership in a matter of seconds. Because if I do have something, I can click on this and go, all right, well, let me click on this specific one. All right, hey, hey, Dave, grab a staff uh, a staff member. Hey, man, type this into the TrueSpot app. Go find this key for me. It says it's out here on the lot over here. Uh, take this out there. When you get over into that area, uh, you can pull it up on your app and see where it is on the map. When you get over there, find that key for me, right? That That's a powerful feature right there. Being able to see that every key made it back into the building, I, I'm now eliminating lost keys right? They're not going to get left in cars. So I'm not going to have somebody, uh, you know, that walks in the front door asking to see a key or a car and now can't because we can't find it. Because what happens after that? You go grab the spare key. Now, if we lose that, now we're out two keys and we can't move a car, right? Now it's become a real problem. And if they want to buy it, oh, it's a whole other deal, right? So this becomes a very powerful tool as far as efficiency and as far as cutting down on those lost key costs. Right, So this is kind of a breakdown to what the desktop dashboard looks like, what I can do as far as opening and closing duties for sales managers, inventory managers, how can I keep the lot tight? Let me search out all the cars to keep them in one area. Or if I'm running a special, let's move them all to the front door. Let's put hang tags in them. Let's try to sell these cars, right? And then the normal things, if you've been able to search out a key, search out a car, hey, if I'm a sales manager and I'm working a deal and I know that I can't get them there, how powerful would it be to look up the other, uh, let me look up a different stock you know, or, or a, a specific trim level below it so that I could pull it up, find one close, and go, it's in the exact same color that they want, right? So if it was whatever the car is, and, and send my sales staff member, hey, go grab this car real quick. It's right out front. Pull it up. Because the minute I walk in to present those numbers, if I'm going to have to show them a number that I know they'll never get to and they won't agree to, how great would it be to already have the car pull up and go, hey, I can't get there on this car, but right outside the front door, I pulled up a car, exact same color, trim level right below it, that you can buy, and I can get into your payments. You know the saying, time kills deals. Well, I just sped you up a lot, right? So another powerful way you can use this tool to help out work in sales, work in deals, uh, helping out your sales managers, your inventory manager, and all your sales staff, your BDC team, your PDI team, everybody, right? So this is what the desktop dashboard looks like, and this is the power that it offers. All right, guys, so hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how you can track your keys, your cars, and even a little bit more using TrueSpot. So I want to stop and say thank you to the Evergreen Group, including, of course, North Star Ford Warren being one of their stores for deciding to partner with us in the Lot 360 management tool. If your dealership is interested in learning more about it, I would be happy to answer any questions. You can always give me a call, a text, you can shoot me an email, or you can set up a demo. I'll put all of that info at the end of the video, of course, down in the description of this video. Other than that, just wanna say thank you again and let it go!